Okay. Pay attention here so that we are in the review part. Okay, in the review part, for example, we have got a song here. I don't know if you remember at the beginning to this unit so that we saw, for example, different uh, literary genres. Okay, ¿se acuerdan lo que significa literary genre? Significa los géneros literarios. Muy bien, aquí vamos a cantar un poco, right? So that we have book addiction, adicción a los libros. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es pay attention, vamos a escuchar, ¿ya? Y vas a seguir la letra que está acá, right? And you are going to look for the literary genre. Y buscas alrededor de la música los géneros literarios que hemos aprendido al principio de esta unidad. Ready? Ok, we are going to listen this here, right? Pay attention here and underline the literary genre here, right? Escuchamos y subrayamos, por favor. Listen. Book addiction. Reading is good, my grandma said. Do it every day before you go to bed. I didn't believe her till I read a book. It was a lovely story about the Greek god's glory. Then I read a comic. I want to read more. Myth books in my drawer. I can't ask for more. Will I read a fairy tale about Princess Snail? Suspense, comedy, or romance? Give me a book, I'll give it a chance. Or it can be the fable that I have on my table. I'm good at history. Yeah, that was a very interesting and amazing song, right? So, I'll make sure that you uh, realized uh, the different literary genres here, right? Entonces, eh, supongo que habrás visto ya los géneros literarios, right? So, I don't know. So, we are going to go for one, right? So, that we are going to look for the one answer here. Vamos a buscar, a ver. A ver, muy bien. What about, for example, this paragraph here? ¿Qué hay de este párrafo? ¿No? Obviamente que hay en otros párrafos quizás hay más, ¿no? For example, what about in this paragraph here? ¿Has podido encontrar aquí algún género literario? Yeah, so we have got this very simple, right? So that we have here, so that we have comic. Yeah, that's right. Entonces, de la misma forma, por favor, chequea otra vez la canción, no te olvides, puedes volver a escucharla y subrayar los géneros literarios. Right? Ok, that is very easy. We are going to remember this part. Ok, now let's go for the next activity. Ok, in this activity, so that we are, don't forget, in the review part, so that we have got activity number two, right? In this activity number two, so that we are going to give our opinion here, right? Vamos ahora a recordar un poco, y no sé si te acuerdas, en la primera parte de esta unidad hemos visto cómo dar las opiniones, right? So, we are going to go for this part, right? Pay attention, for example, in this activity number two for giving opinion. Go. Okay, so that we have got here in activity number two, so that we have listen and agree or disagree with the opinions. Vas a escuchar, dice, y estás de acuerdo o en desacuerdo con las opiniones. First of all, I would like to show you something. I don't know if you remember here. ¿Te acuerdas de esto? 
Y eso no. Estamos listos en la primera lección, ¿verdad? Aquí hemos dado nuestras opiniones como I think, I agree, I disagree, aquí hay más palabritas, I don't think so, I disagree, I agree, I'm not sure, I think you are right. Ok, so what happens here? You are going to listen to statements here, right? So according to this statement, so that you are going to give your opinion, right? Vas a escuchar esas dos afirmaciones y la pregunta sería, ¿estás de acuerdo? Agree o en desacuerdo? Disagree. Ok, entonces, let's listen together, for example, these two, uh, two statements. And that you are going to give your opinion later. Ok? Escuchamos las afirmaciones. Listen, please. Track 27. 1. I think Coldplay is the best band. 2. I think Paranorman is the scariest movie. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's right. So. What do you think? Entonces, aquí están las dos afirmaciones. Yes? I think Coldplay is the best band. I think Paranorman is the scariest movie. ¿Qué opinas de la primera afirmación? Eliges aquí una palabra y lo completas acá. ¿Qué es lo que opinas? ¿Qué piensas? Y la segunda. I think Paranorman is the scariest movie. Paranormal quiere decir pelo paranormal, ¿no? Es una película escalofría. Right? Ok. ¿Y qué es lo que piensas acá? Elige por favor una frase y lo completas. Yes? Ok. That is a very good part because that you are going to give your opinion about it. Yes? Ok. What about, for example, in this part, for example, for the book? Look at this. In this case, so that we have in number three. So, we have got here, for example, four pictures, ok? Y cada eh, situación está haciendo una acción, right? Pay attention for number one. Here, uh, for example, she is riding a bike, so that we have here, they are skating, or on the, on the ice, so that we have, she's practicing ballet, so that we have, she's playing the violin. So, there are four situations here. ¿Cuál es la palabra y la acción que le corresponde a cada una de esas figuras. Right? Una vez que lo pones, right, you are going to give your opinion. Right? For example, we have ice skate, play, dance, right. Una vez que tú ya lo has puesto, vas a hacer oraciones de cada uno. Why? Because you need to give, for example, if you are good at or bad at. Vas a usar estas dos expresiones. For example, pay attention. Vas a hacer oraciones con I good at. Soy yo, soy bueno en. Y escoges una palabrita. Ok. O si no, puedes decir. Yeah. I'm bad at. No soy bueno, no soy buena en. Y escoges una palabrita. Yes. As más oraciones que tú puedas usando estas cuatro palabras usando I'm good at I'm bad at right? ok, it's very simple right? please, go for the uh, self-evaluation ok in this activity number 4 so that we have got for example the self-evaluation In this case, so we are going to talk about your progress. Ok, este es tu progreso. Vamos a ver cómo es que lo haces. Pay attention, please, here. Read the sentences and color the corresponding circle here. But uh, you know about it. For example, uh, I can name literary genres. I can give my opinion. I can agree or disagree. I can use good art or bad art. No, tenemos acá las cuatro afirmaciones. Si tú crees que tú has... Eh, te falta un poco más entonces quizás puedes tú subrayar solamente un círculo vas a eh, rellenar solo un círculo y qué es lo que dice dice puedo nombrar los géneros literarios también tenemos puedo dar mi opinión puedo decir si estoy de acuerdo o en desacuerdo y puedo usar el good ad y el bad ad entonces si tú piensas que te falta entonces solamente circulas 
un circulito acá y lo coloreas. Si crees que estás en proceso, you are going to go for the two. Si tú crees que lo dominas bien, entonces, por favor, pones los tres. Right? It's very simple. Yeah? Okay. That's all for this part.